Hi, I'm Kay Bratcher and I teach here at the high school and I'd like to introduce you guys to Joan Wright who is also a teacher at the high school here, art teacher, and this is Peter Bedgood and we are very excited to have Peter here today as our artist in residence. Peter has been with us the entire week. He's been traveling um, to every school site and Wasso Public Schools, starting with the sixth grade center and ending with the, the high school at the end of the week. So he's been spreading his love and joy and com comedy and um, artistic talent to all of our art students throughout the school system. So we're really, really excited to have Peter here this week. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and Joan. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Would you tell the people at home how we came to know each other? Peter and I work together as stand-up comics. He's a professional comic, and so um, that's how we met. And we have been working together ever since. And he's also a renowned ca uh, cartoonist, comic, and actor. Thank you very much, Joan. Here's your money. <laughs> Where, where's my money, Peter? You don't get any. You don't right at all. Now. The kids <laughs> and I get along really well because uh, I'm here to teach them something they already know, um, which is how to love what you do and go in the direction of what you love so that you can be who you're meant to be and, and to have a sense of who you are and what you're doing here on this planet and making it a better place for other people. And uh, for me, it just happened to be cartooning and comedy. I like to laugh and I like to draw, so that's the direction I went in. And uh, I just think that the kids need just a little bit of encouragement to believe in themselves. And I have enough confidence for a busload of kids. I have too much, so I, I try to, you know, loan it out to other people. Um, it gives me something to do with my days, you know. I would like to be, my, you know what happened? My dad was a preacher, and even though I don't believe in everything he does, I'm still gonna be a preacher, I just can't help it. But I try to preach something I believe in, which, you know, is that kids are like uh, smarter than we are. We should actually try to be more like them in a lot of ways, or at least meet in the middle and find out how we can stay young and, f and learn from the experience of, of the old, and somewhere meet in the middle where we're kind of unaffected by the, the mistakes in our lives and unaffected by the bad, uh, not bad, but like the, 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 the experiences where we might, have, we might have given up because it was less than stellar. You know, maybe we came in second place, maybe we're, we weren't even invited to perform or maybe we failed at the audition or Maybe we drew something that didn't work out and we crumbled it up and threw it away. And this is just to let people know that that's, it's okay to do, but if you can change your thinking so that it's not so much a mistake, but it's a process that we're all involved in together, I think that, that we, can, we can make the world a better place. We can be happier people. We can be filled with love and joy and, and direction and purpose. And, it's not limited to our race or our sex or our religion. It's really just limited to our love and our fearlessness. And if we can overcome our fear and we can be filled with love, we can really make a difference and an impact. And these women and these teachers uh, in this school at Owasso Public Schools have really reinforced this, not only with the kids, but I've seen it firsthand by being here this week. And, I could not be prouder to be an Oklahoman than I am at this time because of the Owasso School District and the, the love and, and uh, fearlessness that I see every day here.